90, 95% of people I see end up hitting too far down. Now, the key thing that controls that is where your head is relative to the golf ball. Simply put in those videos, the more the head's behind the golf ball, within reason, at setup, during the backswing, and through impact, that's the piece that's gonna control the angle of attack. Now, to get the head back, there's really one key body motion that's gonna control all of that, and that is right side bend. Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. Do you have a perfect diet day in and day out? Listen, me neither. Ritual's line of vitamins helps people fill in the gaps in their diet with no shady additives, fillers, or colorants. The Essential for Men vitamin gives you 10 different nutrients, things like vitamin A, vitamin D, omega-3, and zinc, which are things that are difficult for us to get from our diet alone. These two easy to take capsules provide 10 nutrients to support a strong foundation for your health. Ritual is a brand that I completely trust because they search the globe for the best suppliers and they're completely transparent with their suppliers and their ingredients. The best part is you can get the nutrients your body needs delivered straight to your door every month. No strings attached, no extra charge. Ritual is giving you 20% off your first month by going to ritual.com backslash ecgolf20. That's ritual.com backslash ecgolf20 and use code ecgolf20 at checkout. Fill in the gaps in your diet with essential for men vitamins from Ritual, a small step that helps support a healthy foundation for your body. Hey guys, Eric here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about the big mistake that 95% of amateur golfers that I work with make with their driver, and that's that they hit too far down on the golf ball. And hitting too far down on the ball with your driver costs you everything, contact, distance, direction, all that. So I want you to fix that. And to fix that, there's really one key body motion I'm gonna show you in three key checkpoints. Now, before we dive into that, let's just hop over to Analyze. I'm gonna give you a visual of what I'm talking about, and then we'll come back, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so lots of swings we could use here for this, but I'm gonna pull up my favorite swing of all time. Here's old school Tiger. Uh, in my opinion, maybe the best driver of the golf ball ever in this era and the best driver swing. Uh, so we'll use him as a model here. So step number one with keeping the head behind the golf ball. I just drew a line up from the ball. We can see here clearly at the setup position that he has his head behind that golf ball line. And you can see how he does that, which we'll get into, is via this tilt away from the target, right? This right side bend that we'll talk about. So if I drew a straight line up from his hips, this is where that would be. You can see obviously that he's angled away from the target, which enables him to have that distance, that little gap here where his head is back behind the ball at setup. Now, when he makes his backswing, right, step number two is not only does he set up with the head back behind it to start with, but what does he do on the way back during the backswing? Well, he actually increases the distance his head is away from the um, target and how much it is behind the golf ball relative to where he set up. So if we use a third line, now he's actually gotten farther behind the golf ball with his head. Now let's see what he does part three on the way down. In initial transition, his head works slightly back towards the target. You can see there's an initial, you know, little shift motion where the head, the front of the head gets pretty close to where it was at the top of the backswing, not quite there, but a little bit forward. And that's really happening from the top of the backswing till about arm parallel to the ground. That's when that forward motion stops. Now watch this from about here through, his head is actually gonna work back away, more away from the target through impact. So if we have our third line here, that's about where the head is at arms parallel on the way through. Now we're not all gonna be able to swing exactly like that on the way through, but I wanna give you a visual if we wanted to optimize our driver, what that would look like. So again, the look at the lines there of the distance he gets behind the golf ball. So the orange line is where he starts, obviously behind the ball with that tilt or side bend. Top of the back swing is to the yellow. So getting slightly more, the head more behind the ball little bit of bump in transition, and then look from there, he's gonna go really from the orange line back to the green line, back away from the target even more, so the head gets more behind the ball. That's gonna allow him to hit the ball as high, far, and straight as possible. Now there's two key moves that he does to be able to produce that. Let me show you what those are next. All right guys, so there we saw uh, the Tiger example, right? Now, 
I like to pull up the Tiger driver example because to me it's like he's the best driver of the ball during that period ever. Are we going to all be able to swing exactly like that? No, of course not. But he serves as a nice model. And you saw exactly there the main key that would enable him and us to be able to get that club head working level to the ball or even slightly up on the way through. And working the club head level to the ball or slightly up on the way through is going to enable us to hit the ball higher as far as we can do relative to our speed and be able to hit the middle of the club face. Only about 5% of amateurs I've worked with are able to do that when I first see them, right? We can coach that into all of them, but only 5% actually do that by themselves. 90, 95% of people I see end up hitting too far down. Now, the key thing that controls that is where your head is relative to the golf ball. Simply put in those videos, the more the head's behind the golf ball, within reason, at setup, during the backswing and through impact, that's the piece that's gonna control the angle of attack. Now, to get the head back, there's really one key body motion that's gonna control all of that, and that is right side bend. So that right side bend that controls that we have during the setup, and we have a lot of it during the downswing. There's really another little piece through the ball we'll talk about, but let's talk about those three key checkpoints where we have to have the head back behind the ball, like that Tiger example. Starting with the setup. If I took my driver set up, ball position slightly forward, let's say underneath my armpit, feet width or just outside of shoulders, my spine and my body aren't straight up and down, right? I'm tilted slightly away from the target. My right shoulder is slightly closer to my right hip, and that's done via that side bend. Right side bend is just a little bit of a crunch, like a right side oblique crunch. And I'm just doing that a few degrees here, right? If I took my setup normal and my spine was straight up and down, notice my head really wouldn't be behind the golf ball. If I put my hand on my quad here, I just want to get my fingertips down to about my kneecap, and that would allow me to have some nice tilt away from the target. So once I'm set with that side bend in, you can see at setup, if we drew a line up the golf ball, my head is clearly behind that ball at setup. Let's go ahead and hit one from there. There's a nice high straight one. But not only, right, I can't just set it up at setup, and that's all she wrote. I mean, that's where you should start, and if you can keep it that simple, that's great. But in reality, you watch the Tiger model, he's a little bit behind it at setup, the head's back, and then when he goes to the top, he stays back behind it. In fact, he even moves slightly farther away from the target, right? It's a little bit of a pressure shift into the trail side. He works slightly away from it, so he's losing that right side bend, but he got a little bit of turn away from the target. So we're gonna side bend a little bit at setup, make a backswing with a full turn, keep your head behind it. I feel like there's a wall up through the golf ball, and my head stays behind that, as I make my backswing turn. Now, once we have the head back as well at the top of the backswing, the last part is what do we do through the golf ball? And there's really two key body motions through the ball that we need to do to have that head stay back. Number one is right side bend. So again, if I stand up like normal, say my spine is straight up and down, I need to be tilted slightly away from the target. See, when I add that right side bend in, see how my head actually works away from the target. So with that Tiger model, when you watch, during the downswing, he's increasing that right side bend to move his head more away. Now, is he only doing that motion, right? Does he look like this? No, of course not. He's also rotating through, so it looks normal. But you can see how his head actually gets farther from the target, and that's induced by that right side bend. But it's not just right side bend. It's definitely part of it, the right side bend, but as he works through the ball, there's also extension. So as I stand here like normal, as my chest goes up towards the target, notice what happens, which way does my head go? Similar to our last video, right? The head goes back away from the target. So I'm blending in those two pieces. Right side bend is that key motion, that one thing that I mentioned earlier, but I'm just blending it with a little bit of extension. So take my setup position here, little bit of side bend to set the head behind the ball. Back swing, it stays behind it. And then as I work down and through, as my hips are going slightly forward, I'm having my right shoulder go closer to my right hip, and I'm feeling like my chest is up towards the sky. That's gonna, both of those, help keep my head behind the ball, which is gonna help me hit level or slightly up on the golf ball. So normal setup position, a little bit of tilt. Let's draw the line up from the golf ball here. So the head's behind it, I'm gonna stay behind it, and then through impact, I'm gonna feel my right shoulder crunching towards my right hip and my chest going up towards the sky. 
And really what I want you to start with are those two feels. Now, ideally, you would combine this with some video feedback and say, hey, am I actually doing it, right? Model yourself compared to the video we had. And do I need to do more, do I need to do less, et cetera? And basically put the lineup from the golf ball and make sure that you're not crashing through it. Once you get to about arms parallel, your head can kick up and forward, but not until later on. So set up position, little tilt away, turn back. Imagine there's a wall there up the golf ball, keep my head behind it. And then through impact, a little bit of a crunch of the right side with the chest. If you'd like a laser beam in your chest, the chest is up towards the sky. This is the move you want to feel. Shoulder down, chest up. Shoulder down, chest up. And if I do that and we draw the line over the ball again, I'm able to keep my head back like that. Head back, hit level or up, hit the ball more solid, more consistent, farther, less effort, etc. Okay, one more. Head behind it, stay behind it, right shoulder down, chest up. And those are all, as you know already, very solid shots for me there, driver shots. So that's really the key motion, right? Again, maybe 5% of people that I see that I work with initially do that when they come and see me. I coach that into a lot of people, but probably 95% of people, certainly 90 plus percent of people that I see that struggle with driver, when I've been measuring them on TrackMan for the past 15, 16 years, are hitting too far down, right? Too far down, too far down, too far down. And it's where the head is positioned to the golf ball that matters most. And it's side bend and extension through the hit that's gonna control that, just like that Tiger video. Now, I don't know how much of this you need in your swing. I'm sure you need some of it, but for me to be able to really tell, I need to see your swing, right? I need to see your swing on video, either in person or online. This is where I want you to check out cogornogolf.com. So you could send your swings in and we can say, hey, listen, yes, you do need that. You need more of that, less of this. The drills, the feedback, everything you get from there is gonna really help take your game to the next level. I hope you check that out. We're gonna put that in the link down in the description down below. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll check those out, I'll answer those. Also, please like the video, share it, subscribe, all that stuff really helps us out. Appreciate you guys watching.